when you find yourself in a bad situation, something you don't like, you can always adopt the style of thinking which I like to call structural thinking. So any type of life situation that we have is like a box. It's like a box that we're in. You're living in a certain apartment for a while. It's your new box. So now you're always thinking, how do I make this box better from the inside? Oh, like, let's say, for example, the pipes are leaking. You're always like, oh, I hate this apartment. It sucks so much. How do I fix this apartment? How do I make myself enjoy this apartment more? Or you have a relationship with someone who's bad for you. It could be a family member, it could be a friend. Same thing. Oh, this person is so negative. How can somebody be so negative? It's so hard to be with that kind of person. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm basically introducing you to a whole new level of thinking about things. So instead of thinking about things from the position of this is how it is, start thinking in what I call structural thinking. Structural thinking means this box that I'm in, I chose to be in it and I can always change a box. I can move it around. So you don't like your job, you know, you hate, you complain about your job, oh, the job is this, the job is that. Increase the thinking, make it bigger, structural thinking, and start saying, do I like this job in general? Should I get another job? So you basically start asking questions that apply to bigger areas of focus. Instead of saying, oh, the, these people in my life are so negative. How do I deal with this negativity? That's in the box thinking. Because it means, okay, that's my life situation. That's the way it is. How do I deal with it? Out of the box thinking, structural thinking is, okay, should I get rid, rid of this, these people? Should I move to another apartment? Should I change jobs? We do that in business <laughs> as well. There's a certain way that the business works and once you get used to it, it's very easy to just say, oh, that's just how the business works. That's just the model. So we get used to a certain way of something working and that's just how we're trying to work with. For example, I did a course recently and the, where, I, where I do the courses, you have to uh, get tested for every chapter. So I got tested and the tester um, doesn't like my answer, thinks it's not good, thinks it, it shows that I, I, I don't understand the subject. So instead, I didn't like the answer, <laughs> by the way, it was an okay at best answer that I wasn't even that um, proud of. So <clears throat> he, I, I try to defend my answer and there's this answer and it's written and I'm like, uh, if you look at it like this, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this, because it asks to give an example of when uh, a business uh, doesn't treat its resources properly. So I took a very complicated example and really complicated the answer. So he was like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I, that's how you, you know, that's what it means. It's like this. And we literally sat for maybe 15 minutes as I was trying to make sense of the answer. And then I remembered structural thinking. Oh, wait, you don't have to rely on what you have right now. You don't have to, to, to actually depend on it or change it. You can actually think out, out of the box. So I thought, hey, 
why not just write a new answer? <laughs> so instead of like trying to justify, justify, justify the current answer, give examples, you know, and explain it, which is a very tough example to explain. I just took the, you know, I, I crossed it off everything, wrote an exam another example in two sentences, and he said, oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, so you get the subject. <laughs> um, so, pe pe you know, it, it's a funny example because people do that so much in, in, in business, for example. Again, they, they get used to a certain way of things working, and that's just the way it is. So, when they need to maybe increase sales, make more money, uh, you know, they, they completely disregard the fact that there's a million other ways to do it. There's a million ways to market, a million ways to sell, a million products to sell. There's an infinite variation and abundance of, of everything. And it's like, no, it's this way, this way. How do I improve this way, this way? And if you take upon uh, using structural thinking, uh, you change the thinking from how do I improve this thing, this, to how do I make more money, for example. It's, a very, it's good because in this case, it's general, so you can think bigger. Instead of being, oh, how do I deal with negative people, you expand thinking. Oh, maybe I should just remove negative think negative uh, people. So you don't just treat what's inside the box as sacred. Not like, oh, this is what I have. This is what's inside the box. I have to manage what this is. You start thinking about it as a thing you have in your life that you can actually, you know, change and, and, and move and manipulate. <laughs> so you don't have to stay with it. So next time you find yourself um, limiting your thinking into a small problem. Like how do I solve this? How do I change that? How do I deal with this? How do I cope with that? How do I succeed with this type of, uh, with these circumstances or these limitations? Ask yourself, what is the structural thinking model? What is the structural perspective on this? You have a bad relationship. How, oh, she's so like this. You know, how do I make her less angry? How do I make her less annoying? How do I make her not cheat on me? Expand the thinking. Oh, how do I get rid of her? How do I find a better girlfriend? How do I get 10? 10, 10 girlfriends. Expand thinking. Oh, I hate this. Uh, you know, I hate everybody in my life. They're all negative. How do I deal with it? How do I cope with them? How do I fight negativity? Make it bigger. Who said you have to have negativity in your life? And I know, I know some of you are like, oh, you know, everybody has negativity. Yeah, of course. But, you know, you might occasionally bump it into somebody negative. But there's a difference between somebody who's, you know, randomly negative and choosing to have somebody negative in your life. It's a big, big difference between the two. So... And again, finally, the same with business. Um, your business structure is just what you kind of you got used to. You can always change it. Uh, instead of thinking, how do I, for example, imagine for me, oh, how do I make the videos better uh, to get more views? It's like structural thinking would say, how do I get more views in general? Like, how do I get more attention? Maybe it's Facebook. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, Periscope. Um, or you could say. Um, how do I make these videos better? It's like, again, who said you need to make these videos? Who said you can't do another type of video? So never limit yourself to the structure uh, in terms of the structure. Okay, you see there's a building here and people are trying to change. Uh, never mind. So there's a building and uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can use it. Uh, there's a building as you can see, and people are trying to change this, trying to change, how do I change the floor? How do I change the, you know, the window? So we'll move on to the next one. How do I change the window? How do I change this? How do I change this? What I'm thinking is, how do I change the whole structure? Like maybe I want to completely remove the building. <laughs> Not just, okay, this is the building. It's, it's immovable. That's the way things are. No, it's flexible. You can always change it. You know, oh, how do I improve my shitty life? Maybe you don't need to have a shitty life. Maybe you can just pack your things and travel. That's structural thinking, you know, as fuck. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. 
No. How do I get more money as an employee? Do you like being an employee? No. So ask yourself, how do I make more money, period? The bigger you think, the more you realize that your life is choice, it's by choice. Everything you see around you, like actually looking to where you are right now, the room you're at, the house you're at right now, you're probably at a house, the phone you have in your hand, the, the everything about you and, and, sorry for the wind, everything about you and try asking yourself right now, what would it feel like to hold a different phone right now or to hold a different computer? What would it feel like right now to live in a completely different place, to maybe have a reality where I don't wake up where I am, I wake up in a beach in Thailand for the same amount of money. You know, just, just start asking, lightly asking yourself questions about this reality and actually like, does, who said it has to be this way, you know? So that's really the message I want to keep, I want to leave with you is, again, the question, who, who said it has to be this way? That's structural thinking in a nutshell. Not just, uh, this is the way I need to improve it based on the way it is. Who said it has to be this way anyway? <laughs> Could be something else entirely. So let me know if the video helps you. Um, I'd love to help you more. Um, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and um, I do coaching, so contact me.